Once upon a time in a vibrant neighborhood, rich with the rhythms of jazz and the aromas of soul food, lived two inseparable friends, Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby. Goo Goo Girl with her playful afro puffs and Goo Goo Gabby with her neatly braided hair were known for their boundless creativity and love for art. Their favorite place was Goo Goo Girl's grandma's house, where an old garage had been transformed into a wondrous art studio adorned with paintings of African-American heroes and heroines. One bright Saturday, after helping Grandma prepare a hearty meal of gumbo and cornbread, the girls retreated to their creative haven. Amidst their laughter and chatter, they noticed a peculiar painting. It depicted a world so alive with colors that it seemed to pulse with its own heartbeat. Mesmerized, they reached out to touch the canvas, and in a whirl of colors, they were whisked into the painting. They landed in a world where everything was made of swirling brush strokes. The sky was a tapestry of blues and purples, the trees were lush emerald strokes, and the rivers flowed in ribbons of sparkling azure. But as they ventured further, they saw areas where the color had faded to gray, leaving the scenes lifeless. In this world, they met a cast of colorful characters, a son with a booming laugh, a mountain with a gruff voice, and a wise old tree who told stories of the world's past. These characters explained that a mysterious force was draining the world's colors, threatening to leave it in monochrome. Determined to help, Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby set out on a quest to restore the colors. Their adventure was a whirlwind of challenges that tested their courage and creativity. They solved riddles given by a playful wind, danced with raindrops to unlock hidden hues, and learn to see the world through an artist's eyes. Each challenge they overcame brought back vibrant colors to the world. But the heart of the story lay in their encounter with the mysterious force, a colorless, shadow-like creature who felt that colors brought chaos and confusion. The girls listened to its story with empathy, sharing their own experiences of the vibrant world they came from, where colors were a source of joy and expression. Moved by their words, the creature began to understand the beauty of diversity and harmony in colors. It released the stolen colors, and the painted world burst back into vibrancy, more lively than ever before. As the girls returned to their world, stepping out of the magical canvas, they saw their neighborhood in a new light. They realized that their community was a living canvas, rich with history, culture, and color. They decided to share their adventure and lessons learned with others. Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby started art classes for kids in their neighborhood. They taught them about famous African-American artists, encouraged them to express themselves, and showed them how to see the beauty in diversity. They included fun activities, like painting their own magical worlds, encouraging each child to tell their story through art. Their adventure in the painted world wasn't just a journey through a magical land. It was a journey that brought them closer to their roots and community. It taught them the power of empathy, the beauty of diversity, and the importance of expressing oneself. And so, in a neighborhood enriched by their creativity and spirit, Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby continue to spread joy and color, living happily ever after in their beautifully diverse world. In the heart of the vibrant town of Puzzleton, where houses were shaped like colorful geometric puzzles and streets twisted like a labyrinth, lived two best friends with boundless imagination, Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby. Goo Goo Girl, with her hair in curly puffs, was the mastermind, known for her clever riddles and inventive ideas. Goo Goo Gabby, her hair adorned with beads that clinked softly as she moved, was the brave heart, always ready to lead the way into new adventures. They lived next door to each other in cozy houses, where their families shared tales and laughter. One bright morning, as the girls were playing in Goo Goo Girl's vibrant garden, a golden leaf, shimmering with a magical glow, floated down from the sky. It wasn't an ordinary leaf, but a puzzle leaf from the mystical enchanted forest. Inscribed on it was a riddle, hinting at the legendary treasure hidden within the Puzzle Palace, a mysterious mansion known to few in Puzzleton. Fueled by curiosity and the tales of old, the girls, with the blessings of their supportive families, embarked on their greatest adventure yet. As they ventured through the enchanted forest, where trees whispered ancient secrets and the air buzzed with magic. They finally arrived at the grand gates of the Puzzle Palace. 
the gates opened to reveal a sprawling hall with countless doors, each promising a world of mysteries. The first challenge was a room where the walls inched closer with each passing second. Working together, Goo Goo Girl's quick wit and Goo Goo Gabby's fearless actions found the hidden button under a floor tile, halting the walls just in time. Each room thereafter offered unique puzzles, from a library with flying books that whispered hints to a garden where flowers bloomed with riddles. As they delved deeper, they encountered magical creatures, a talking lion that spoke in cryptic parables about unity, a mischievous sprite that tried to lead them astray, and a wise old turtle who shared stories of Puzzleton's history, enriching the girls' journey with cultural tales and lessons of the past. Amid their journey, back in Puzzleton, their families were engaged in a parallel challenge. A puzzle box had appeared at their doorstep, with a note saying it would unlock only when the girls found the treasure. This subplot added a communal dimension to the adventure, tying the girls' quest to the heart of Puzzleton. The biggest test came in a room where mirrors reflected not images, but fears. Goo Goo Girl confronted her fear of the unknown, while Goo Goo Gabby faced her fear of not being brave enough. Together, they realized that true courage was facing fears head on, and that together, they were unstoppable. The final chamber revealed not gold or jewels, but a beautiful garden under a starlit sky, with a mirror at its center. In the mirror, they saw themselves, smiling, confident. The real treasure was the journey, the lessons learned, and their unbreakable bond. Returning to Puzzleton as heroes, they found their families gathered around the now open puzzle box, which contained a book of untold stories and riddles of Puzzleton, waiting to be filled by the next generation of adventurers. In their cosy homes, surrounded by the warmth of their families, Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby realized that every puzzle solved, every fear faced, and every challenge overcome had shaped them into who they were. Brave, smart, and above all, the best of friends. Their adventure was more than just a quest for treasure. It was a journey of self-discovery, friendship, and the celebration of their heritage and community.